Loai El Basuni is a Palestinian American living right here in the States. He's a space engineer, and his elderly parents are trapped in the Gaza Strip right now. Uh, Loai, we appreciate you sharing your story with us, although I'm, I'm so sorry you even have to in the first place. When was the last time you spoke with your mom and your dad, and how are they staying safe? I actually just got off the phone with them. Uh, I was trying to call them last night, but I wasn't able to. It's been really difficult, so I took a hold of them. Uh, most, the, most of the time, the phone don't work, but they told me they're okay. Uh, they're still in Gaza City, my dad's old clinic, uh, and, you know, they have a lot of my cousins. The situation is really bad. I mean, there was not enough water, drinking water. Even drinkable water is actually extremely ex becoming expensive. Uh, there was shortage on food. There was like even some fight broke out in some of the food stands. You have to wait for hours, but like everything has become really tough. Yeah, uh, I know that your dad is 75, your mom is 68. Um, how do you even end those phone calls with them? You know, when you're hanging up, you just said you just spoke to them and you don't know what is coming hour by hour, day by day. I mean, what? how do you end those phone calls? What What words do you exchange with mom and dad? I mean, honestly, the last word I said, I said, it's already over three minutes. So, I mean, you know, I know what, we're trying to rationing the battery of the phone because, you know, I want to make sure we can keep talking to them because they don't like, the, you know, you know, there is no power. So they have to like find a place with a generator to charge the phone so they'd be able to talk to us. Um, you know, my mom just like every time I talk to her, it's like, it's make it sound like it's the last time they talk to me. Mm. I know it just has to kill you inside uh, and they're having to ration everything right now food water to your point earlier and how are you holding up you know I got to ask you uh, how do you cope with the fact that they're trying to survive the middle of a war and the harsh reality that nobody knows what every day will bring I mean I'm just trying when my best to you know make a stop call for a ceasefire we need to stop this I mean you know I mean I was listening to the previous segment when they actually met talking about how great to be in America. I mean, I love the fact I'm an American, I'm in America, but I do feel like right now, like the foreign governments, they're not even treating us the same. You know, an American with a, you know, an American with a Palestinian origin is being trapped in Gaza, or an American with Israeli citizen, like background, they're actually being evacuated by our government. So, you know, I mean, we need to have a ceasefire. We need to allow people, we need to allow food in, we need to allow water in. I mean, this is the only thing I can call. It's calling the war to stop this. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, in, we need, I mean, I mean, I've always been against war, any war for that matter. And, and you know, we just, you know, the war needs to stop. I mean, we need to have the voice of reason to stop. You need to take a pause before you take a step. Because, yeah. you know, otherwise we're going to realize we made something really stupid. And, and that's right now. Speaking of that humanitarian aid, I don't I don't mean to cut you off, but put us on the ground in Gaza where your parents are. You know, we know that Egypt agreed to allow some humanitarian aid into Gaza, uh, but they've kept that Rafa crossing closed to refugees. How does that make you feel? And in your eyes, does Egypt have blood on its hands? No, I mean, I, you know, I mean, the, you know, the entire Gaza Strip, to clarify something, is under occupation by Israel, so all borders are actually need to be approval by Israel. Um, right now, actually, I'm talking to some some of my friends, like U.S. friends, who are actually, like, sitting by the border for the last five, six days, you know, being instructed by the State Department to go there. They said no aid have entered. The border is still closed. I mean, you know, you need safety. I mean, the Rafah border has already been bombed several times. So, I mean, the workers cannot go to the border checkpoints. So, I mean, you know, I mean, in the end of the day, it's the, you know, it's the role of the gun, what's, what's governance on the ground. It's not like something you can go from one place to the next. Yeah, yeah. And just a few seconds left, I have one more question for you. Uh, you know, when your parents get out, I'm going to say when, because we have to keep hope intact, you know, during these times, what's their plan? I mean, as an outsider, I can't imagine wanting to stay in Gaza, but this is home for them. I'm sure generations of your family have lived here. Um, do they want to stay? No, my parents actually do live in Germany. Uh, they're actually just wow. visiting Gaza. They are German national. Um, I mean, you know, my parents moved out of Gaza in 12 years ago. I mean, my dad moved to Gaza like four years after lived in Germany, worked as a surgeon there for a while to help the people most in need. Because, I mean, Gaza have a lot of shortage of medicine and surgeons. And, you know, I mean, he spent a lot of time saving people's lives. And he just stayed on a visit because he miss we miss our groves and he miss his brothers and the rest of the family.
but he made a very difficult decisions him and my mom to live in germany uh, you know just you know to be closer to us because like i have not been to gaza for 23 years it's extremely difficult gaza have been under siege for all that period and you know so you know that's the reason they you know you know went away from their family i mean to us i mean we work on our careers and we look up our, our, ourselves i mean that's I mean, that's, that's the reality, you know, I mean. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.